What do you remember about your debut for Scotland? What has been your best moment in a Scotland jersey? I have two. I'm not saying this because you're here. When you got your first cap and starting along with you in America, um, didn't go to plan. It's pretty horrible weather conditions. Um, but it was nice having Uncle yeah, Tim there. Just, I, I was just super proud. Xander. Matthew. How will it feel to pick up your 50th cap for Scotland at the weekend? I mean, yeah, it's going to be really special. Um, I think just my first cap was a highlight of my career and dream come true. So mm. I really can't believe it's, I'm, I'm about to play my 50th. So yeah, I think it's just a combination of a bit of hard work growing up and all the sacrifices mum and dad made for us. Yeah. And sort of with Yaz and all those missing birthdays and missing special things in life, it all, it's made it all worth it. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a special day for, for me and the family. Quite right. Um, what do you remember about your debut for Scotland? My debut at Scotland was really special. Uh, it was Calcutta Cup match mm -hmm. I 2016. Um, came on for the last 50 minutes, I believe. Uh, I just remember the crowd, because it was a Calcutta Cup match as well, it was just at Murrayfield, it was yeah. insane. I remember the anthems, put hairs in the back of my neck stood up. It was really special and then coming on was just incredible. What were your memories of watching Scotland growing up? We actually spoke about this on the night. Uh, I remember we'd always have nachos oh, yeah, okay. at home yeah. as a family, and we'd all watch the games together at home because Dad, Dad loves his rugby. Set the scene like the, the layers. Set the scene. Set, so, the, yeah, scene, so set, set big, the layers. Big dining table. Mum would have we'd have three or four mixing bowls of Doritos. We'd have chili heat wave, right. the cool the cheese, and it would always be Nathaniel would be in his room watching his iPad. We'd smash like everything, take all the cheese, yeah. all the rubbish bits, and he'd come through absolutely raging for the second We'd half. They'd always run out of the reels. Correct. Yeah. Um, now, nah, good times. I just remember That's watching. Fun. We used to watch Scotland all the time. Yeah. At home, and absolutely love it. And yeah, it's pretty pretty special to be here. What has been your best moment in uh, Scotland jersey? I have two. I'm not saying this because you're here. I'll, I'll go with my first one, my first cap. Yeah. Um, Playing, playing at home in front of my friends and family, um, yeah, a, a day I'll never forget. Um, and also, the second one would be when you got your first cap and start along with you in America. Um, didn't go to plan. It's pretty horrible no, weather didn't. conditions, um, but it was nice having Uncle yeah, Tim. Yeah, I was there, just, I, I was just super proud, super yeah. proud of you, and I think just from mum and dad uh, being able to watch us both play together has been. That was the start of it. It's, it's pretty special. So, uh, yeah. I'm not saying that just because he's here. Um, I do love playing with you. Uh, it's for Glasgow and for Scotland. So for me, I was pretty, and as you said, and Uncle Tim there and the cousins was mm. really cool as well. I got asked um, that the other day, of what's it like playing with your brother for Scotland and for Glasgow? And I was like, it's weird because the first couple of times it was a bit strange, you know, like, oh, relishing the moment and stuff. But now yeah. it's like, it's just a bit natural, yeah. isn't it? It'd be weird when you take a massive contract to go play in Japan. <laughs> It'd be strange <laughs> nah, me sitting nah, around Glasgow. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Yeah, as you say, like, it's sort of, Playing for Glasgow, even playing for that. It's weird when you're not playing. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. When you've been injured. Whenever, whenever it kicks off, I have to make sure I have to go and protect you. And you're not there. It's like, oh, I can, yeah. I can just watch now. So <laughs> it's good fun. Um, what has been your toughest moment in a Scotland jersey? Toughest moment? I'd, 2021, the Wales game, that red card. Um, yeah, it was, we, were, we were up, you know, we were, we were in control of that game. And yeah letting the boys down that I, I took it pretty hard and affected the family quite a bit as well you know um, wasn't my proudest moment but it's rugby one of these things moved on from it so but uh, yeah it hit, hit me pretty hard letting yeah. the boys down because I think we could have won that game it's good yeah the boys are rounding the coaches as well didn't you so yeah that, that was, was um, yeah that it's tough yeah one of the next um, what's been your most memorable Scotland tour did you went you did you go to Singapore Australia yeah, the Singapore, so did Australia, that Fiji. Fiji um, yeah, and we all got the bug in Fiji. You, you did America, uh, Canada, and remember Argentina. remember Wilson fishing off the bay. Our our, our team room was on a boat yeah. just off of the the hotel in Fiji, so it was class. But I remember Wilson um, used to, he was fishing with the with a, with a bit of string and a hook off off the pier, and he caught a few fish. It was pretty cool. Quite right. Yes, um, we went on a, an epic fishing trip with Alex Allen. Matt Scott and Alex Allen just spewed everywhere. Oh, <laughs> he had the, the Fiji bug, did he? No, not the Fiji bug, he's just got really bad seasickness, which you can oh, tell us about. Um, yeah, I loved, we, we, I did Canada, America and Argentina last time, which mm. was also epic. Um, 
had a good, good really good group of boys and Canada was just kind insane. of class one. I, I was dying to go to Whistler, but I got told I wasn't allowed to go on my day off in case I, I got on a bike or something and hurt yeah. myself. And yeah. I actually, I've, I've, I've loved this trip, it's, it's been really cool as well. Well, don't cut me off. Don't, don't cut you off. Go on my next but, question. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd probably say for me, being able to see Singapore and playing over there, which was horrendous, but also quite cool because yeah. of the humidity. But and then Australia was just class. We were right on Coogee yeah. Beach and then to Fiji and just getting the most friendliest people in the most yeah. amazing country. And the result didn't go our way, but to see the whole stadium packed out over there and mm -hmm. play against some of, some of our mates was pretty special. So I'd probably go for that one. You were obviously in Japan and New Zealand as well, weren't you? New Zealand for the Junior World Cup. Yeah, was New Zealand Junior World Cup was also everywhere. It's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. Rugby takes all over the world. Yeah, that's quite right. Um, Japan, Japan, uh, yeah, it wasn't a tour, but Japan was up there. Yeah. The people, and how, the people on the food. Well that, well, that leads on to this question. <laughs> how have you found this tour so far? Yeah, nah, I've absolutely loved it. Yeah. Um, great bunch of boys, all, all bought in, you know. Um, mm. It's not really any cliques or anything, so everyone just gets on their one and got a few new additions to the management group, you know, Sheffy Boy yeah. coming in, boosting morale. And Correct. It's been awesome. And then, yeah, just think we've been in, we've been in places that like the Wi-Fi has been terrible. There's not been that much to do. Plenty of card games. Plenty yeah. of card games, Monopoly deal. Um, it's a really tight bunch and mm. looking forward to hopefully getting the job done this weekend. Yeah. You've been on the receiving end of a few finds this tour, haven't you? Yeah, a few. Just a couple. Just a couple. <laughs>